what prompted you to write the Amazon way? Yeah, well, nice to be here. So uh, John Rossman, I wrote uh, the Amazon way, Amazon's 14 leadership principles. And so I was at Amazon from early 2002 through late 2004, uh, got to have, play a key role in kind of launching and scaling the marketplace business at Amazon. And then I ran enterprise services. I left Amazon in late 2005. I was a partner in a consulting firm uh, for 12 years after that. And about six years after I left Amazon, one of my clients at the Gates Foundation, uh, a guy by the name of Greg Shaw, who uh, is an author himself, he's the co-author of Satya Nadella's book, Hit Refresh, but Greg pulled me into his office and he goes, he goes, you do a really nice job of kind of taking some of the little mechanisms, the little approaches, the principles from Amazon and inserting them into our work. So this is early 2012 and Greg was like, you know, in the Northwest, we see what Amazon is, not only like what it does, but how it does it. And he goes, I don't think the rest of the world knows what's coming here. I think you ought to write a book about this. And the smartest thing I did was I said, Greg, great, but you have to be my partner on, this, on these books. And so he's been my partner on these books. So we launched the first edition of the Amazon Way in 2014. I wrote a book called The Amazon Way on IoT in 2017. I wrote Think Like Amazon, 50 and a half ideas to be a digital leader in 2019. And then we just re-released a new edition of The Amazon Way, got a nice forward from Tom Allberg, who was on the board of the Amazon for 23 uh, years, updated a bunch of the stuff. But what prompted me to write this book was really Greg's, Greg's reaction. And, and it's really the reaction that, that I had up into the book and kind of from the book, which is there's so many portable lessons and approaches that you can take from a place like Amazon and put them into any other uh, business because they, they essentially they all strive to kind of help teams do the right things, avoid bureaucracy, think about your customer, solve problems, use data, and and think big about the future, right? Like what business doesn't that apply to uh, and everything? And so. I've just had the best job in the world the past 10 years, which is really helping leaders and teams think through what their beliefs are and how to create actionable mechanisms in order to have them. Uh, I wrote a new appendix in this version of the Amazon way. And it's about building your own principles, right? So, so I don't espouse that these are the right principles for anybody else, but I do think that principle driven leadership to help create repeatable, consistent culture is, is a really good idea. So I give a little, a little framework and some ideas on building your, your principles. But that's, that's what inspired me because I like helping leaders and businesses uh, build for the future. And uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a problem solver. I'm an engineer by background. And I like, I like building things that, that are better than the current state.